Hello everybody and welcome to another Fit For Good online session with me, Jordan. Now I hope you're ready for a fun and challenging session today. Because today we're going to be doing cardio. We're going to start off slow and then we're going to get quicker and quicker and quicker. Now for today's session you will need a couple of things. Most importantly is a bottle or a glass of water that is there ready for you to drink whenever you are thirsty. The second thing you're going to need is a chair or a sofa, ah, something to sit on for when you need some rest. You will not need any weights today. So if you haven't got those things ready, I want you to put the video on pause, set yourself up and resume it when you're ready to go because we are going to warm up. All good? Right, on your feet please. For this warm up, we're gonna do eight different warm up exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds and you'll get a 15 second rest in between each one. In that 15 second rest, I'll show you what the next exercise is. So when I count you in, we're gonna either walk or do a very slow jog on the spot. Nice and easy to start. Right, let me start my timer. We have 10 seconds. Getting ready to walk or do a slow jog on the spot. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice and easy to start with. Now in this warm up, I want you to work at a pace that's gonna get you nice and warm. I don't want you to overdo it though. So don't go too hard in this warm up. At the same time, as I said, work at a good pace. And by the end of it, I want you to be raring to go. Lovely. We have five, three, two, one. Lovely. 15 seconds rest. When I count you back in, we're going to do nice big shoulder circles. And when I say halfway, we're going to swap directions. Get ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. Make these as big as you can. Ready, getting those shoulders nice and warm, nice and loose, ready for some of our movements today. Lovely. And change directions, that's halfway. Nice, big, huge circles. The whole time you're not holding your breath, you're taking long, deep breaths in the nose and out the mouth. Three, two, one and rest. In 15 seconds we're going to do short sharp boxing punches. So you're going to punch in all different directions but don't punch too hard. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, let's keep getting those arms nice and warm. Moving them in all directions, left and right, up and down, different angles. We're halfway, 15 seconds. Great work so far. 10 seconds, not punching too hard. Short and sharp. Almost there. We have three, two, one. Another 15 second rest. Set your feet at your shoulders. Hold on to your hips. Because when I count you in, we're going to do nice big hip circles. And when I say halfway, you change directions. Three, Two, one, let's go. Nice big hip circles. Again, not too fast, but not too slow. At a nice pace. And change directions, that's halfway, fantastic. Lovely. 10 to go. Always important we warm up the hips as they can be generally quite tight on a lot of people. Three, two, one, lovely. In 15 seconds, we're gonna do one of my favorite movements of all time, star jumps. We can step them like this, or we can jump them. You choose for this warm up in three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna start off by stepping them, but it's up to you what you do for this warm up. Lovely. Again, long, deep breaths. In the nose, out the mouth. We're halfway, fantastic. Keep it going. We have 10 seconds. Lovely stuff, fantastic. Almost there. 
three, two, one. Another rest, 15 seconds. Put your feet underneath your hips, interlink your fingers. You're gonna reach down to your toes, reach up to the sky, keeping your legs as straight as possible in three, two, one. Let's go. If you haven't got to touch your toes, it's more important that you keep the legs straight and only go where your body allows you to. Do not force anything. This is a very nice stretch for our hamstrings and our lower backs. Lovely. Great work. We have less than 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Great work. Our next exercise, you're gonna give yourself a nice cuddle. And then with your arms, you're gonna let them swing back and then forward. Just like this in three, two, one. Being careful of anything around you. So make sure you have enough space today. Check the floors. Make sure there's nothing you can trip over as well. This is a nice shoulder stretch, a nice chest stretch. Again, getting that upper body nice and warm. Fantastic, lovely. 10 seconds remaining, good stuff. Almost there, last five. Three, two, one, amazing. Have a sit down, because for our last exercise, we're gonna do some sit to stands. Feet at your shoulders, either hand on either shoulder, elbows up, get ready to stand up in three, two, one, stand up, and sit down. Stand up and sit down. Keep going for the next 20 seconds. Great work. Lovely. Getting those hips, those knees, those ankles, and all of our lower body, and some of the upper body too, nice and warm. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. That is the end of our warm up. Let's have some water. Mm. Ah, lovely. Right, we're gonna move on now. We're gonna be going on to our cardio work. However, if you just got to the end of that warm up and you're thinking to yourself, I'm not really that warm yet. What I want you to do then is I want you to rewind the video and start the warm up again. Because it's very important that you're nice and warm before we start our main bit of work today. If you are ready to go though, I'd recommend taking one or two minutes rest just to catch your breath, have another sip of water, because then we'll be ready to go. We're gonna be doing cardio, we're gonna be starting off slowly and getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Are you ready? Because I know I am. Right, so we have three cardio movements. Walking slash jogging, boxing, and star jumps. All three of those that you've already done today in our warm up. And as I said a second ago, we're gonna start off slow and we're gonna get quicker and quicker and quicker. We're gonna do this over four rounds. In the first round, we work for 50 seconds, we rest for 10 seconds on each movement. In the second round, we work for 40, we rest for 20. In the third round, we work for 30, we rest for 30. And in the fourth and final round, we work for 20, we rest for 40. So every time we come to a new round, we're doing 10 seconds less work and we're getting 10 seconds more rest. So we start off slow, and as the work goes down and the rest goes up, we get quicker and quicker and quicker to account for that more rest we're getting and the less time we're having to do work. We increase the intensity over the course of the four rounds. Now, this can be a tough and challenging workout. So if at any time you need more rest than I'm giving you, just put the video on pause, have your rest, and rejoin whenever you're ready. This is a simple yet effective workout. And that's that. Are we ready to go? We're gonna start off with our walking slash jogging. And remember, this wants to be our slowest round. I'm going to count you in. Let me start my timer. 
10 seconds. We're gonna work for 50 seconds. We're gonna rest for 10. Get ready to go in three, two, one. Walking slash slow jogging. I'm gonna let you choose your own pace, of course, but just remember, as I said, it's a challenging workout and we have the opportunity to get faster as the time goes on. So don't start off your first round too quickly, otherwise you will burn out. The whole time you're trying to breathe through the movements. Big deep breaths in the nose, out through the mouth. Fantastic. We still have 15 seconds until our 10 seconds of rest. Almost there. Three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest. When I count you back in, we're doing our boxing. Get ready to go in three, two, one, and boxing. Just like our warm up, we're not punching too hard. We're doing short, sharp, light punches in all different directions. If you want, feel free to have a little bit of a move around as well, although that will be more tiring. So just bear that in mind. Great work. We are halfway, 25 seconds to go. Fantastic. Keep it going. Long, deep breaths. Less than 10, almost there. Five. We have three, two, one. 10 seconds until star jumps. I'm gonna do these star jumps for this round. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. So these are the low impact star jumps. Of course, you can do the high impact version. It's completely up to you, but they are quite taxing. And this is our longest round. So I know that I'm gonna pace myself by starting off with the stepping star jumps. And when I get back round to them for rounds two, three and four, I will assess how I feel and make the judgment on which version I do there. Lovely. Keep it going. Amazing. We have 15 seconds. Almost there, 10 seconds to go. Lovely stuff. We have five. Well done, we have three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest. Fantastic. Get ready for walking slash jogging for round two in three, two, one. This time we're working for 40 seconds. We're getting a 20 second rest after each movement. So I'm speeding up for round number two, but still pacing myself. That's it, good stuff, good stuff. Long, deep breaths. Fantastic, good work. We're halfway already. Lovely, keep it going. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Ooh. Almost there. We have three, two, one. Woo, 20 seconds of rest. I'm gonna use this time to have a sip of water. Mm. 10 seconds until our boxing punches, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds of rest. Get ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Lovely. As I said before, if you want to make it a bit harder for yourself, move your body as well. We're halfway through the 40 seconds. Less than 20 to go. Woo! Lovely. And remember, if you're trying to stick to the pacing, this round is a bit faster than our first round. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh! That's getting tough. 15 seconds until star jumps. 
Last round, I did the stepping star jumps. But I'm feeling good, so this round, I'm gonna do the jumping star jumps, the high impact version. You choose what's right for you in three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. You might decide to stick to the stepping star jumps for this round, and that's fine. Because 40 seconds of work is still a lot of work. You do what feels right. Don't burn out. We have 20 seconds halfway, fantastic. Almost there. Lovely, 10 seconds to go. Keep it going. Five. We have three, two, one. Oh, 20 seconds of rest. Breathe in the nose, out through the mouth. Relax your shoulders. Have some water if you need to. In 10 seconds, we're gonna be on our third out of four rounds. We're going for walking slash jogging. In three, two, one, let's go. So now we're working for 30 seconds. We're resting for 30 seconds. So an even ratio of work and rest. Good stuff. We're already halfway now, 15 seconds to go. So I'm speeding up this round, making the most of the shorter time worked. Good stuff. We have five. We have three, two, one. 30 seconds of rest. Oh, I'm gonna have a sit down for this rest. And have some water. Mm, lovely stuff. Right, long, deep breaths. We have 10 seconds until our boxing punches. Are we ready? Standing up. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds of work. Hopefully a little bit quicker than our first two rounds. Great stuff, fantastic. We have 15 seconds, keep going. 10 to go, you're doing great, well done. Almost there, three, two, one. 30 seconds of rest, another sit down for me I think. Right, star jumps are coming up. You know what's right for you, either jumping or stepping. You choose, it's completely your choice. Please don't overdo it. You know, at the same time, I want you to challenge yourself, but do not burn out. Are we ready? Onto our feet. We've got 30 seconds of star jumps in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds of star jumps. Good stuff. Great work today so far. You're doing fantastic. Keep it going. We have. 15 seconds, getting a nice big 30 second rest at the end of this, lovely, almost there, we have three, two, one, 30 seconds of rest, Whew. oh that's getting intense, the intensity goes up as the time goes down, you'll be pleased to know that we're on our final round for each movement. We're gonna work for 20 seconds, we're gonna rest for 40. If you feel good, this is where you increase the pace yet again. Onto your feet, get ready for walking slash jogging in a three, two, one, go. 20 seconds of work, go, go, go. Lovely stuff. Again, breathing through it, we've got 10 seconds, that's halfway, amazing. We have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 40 seconds of rest. Whew. Taking long, deep breaths. In the nose, out through the mouth. Make sure you top yourself up with some water. Mm. As we're doing all cardio today, it's quite a warm and sweaty session, so we need to keep replenishing ourselves throughout. Mm. Right, we've got 15 seconds 
until our last round of boxing punches. 10 seconds to go. So on our feet, let's get ready. 20 seconds of work in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. That's it, nice and quick for our final round of each. We have 10 seconds. Good stuff. Almost there. Three, two, one. 40 seconds of rest. Sitting back down, if you want to. Taking long, deep, relaxed breaths. We've got one more movement. We're gonna to finish today on star jumps. 20 seconds of movement. Using this rest time to recover, as I said, regulating our breathing and really relaxing and really getting ready to go at the same time. Right, are you ready for our final movement today? We have 10 seconds, so onto our feet. 20 seconds of star jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. 20 seconds of work, big push at the end. You did a great job so far. Last 10 seconds, amazing. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And have a rest. But what I want you to do is stay on your feet for a moment and just have a little wander around the room, nice and slow. Keep those legs moving just as we start to cool down. We're gonna do this for another 15 seconds. Oh, shaking out the arms, shaking out the legs. Oh, that was tough. You can sit down in three, two, one. And that's that, we're done today. So the idea of that was learning about pacing. Starting off slow when we had to work for our longest and then increasing our pace as the time goes down. Increasing the intensity to make the time worked worthwhile and to account for all the added rest we were getting. Now, if you feel like you could do some of that again, you know, you're feeling good, you know, you feel like you could do some more, I recommend just restarting that part of the workout that, you know, whatever round you want to start on. You might decide to start back on round one and work your way down again. Or you might decide just to do round four again, our fastest round. It's your choice. If you're anything like me, though, I definitely want some rest after that. So have a breather, make sure you have a sip of water, because we are gonna go and have a nice stretch to cool down. You've done a great job, let's have a nice stretch. Right, time for a nice stretch. I think we deserve it. So, if you're not all ready, please could you stand up? From here, place your feet underneath your hips. Only go a bit wider if you feel that you need the stability. From here, you're gonna tuck your chin, you're gonna round the shoulders, and you're gonna make your way into this folded position. And you're just gonna hang here. Feel free to hold on to your legs or something next to you for added stability if you need it. Keeping the legs as straight as possible, a nice stretch for our hamstrings and our lower backs. Really relaxing into the position. Really just chilling out now. Focusing on taking long, deep breaths. And from here, very, very, very slowly, Come up, reach up to the sky, look up to the ceiling, and pull your arms up towards it. Oh, a nice, big, long stretch. Bring your arms down by your side and place them on your lower back like so. Standing nice and tall, squeeze your elbows together, push your chest out slightly, push your hips forward slightly as well. Don't lean back too much though that you start to feel it in the lower back. You want to be feeling it in this chest area and maybe in the shoulders and arms as well. So pull those elbows together. The whole time you're taking long, deep breaths. 
Fantastic. And release that stretch. From here, you're gonna take your right hand, place it on your left shoulder, left hand on the right elbow, follow along with me. Put it into the chin and then across to the left to get a stretch down your right shoulder. Great work today. If you're viewing this video via our website, which is fitforgood.com, I want you to scroll down on the page you're on after this video ends and you'll find a big comment box. Please leave us some feedback and let us know how you got on. We always love hearing from you. Release that stretch. Left hand goes on the right shoulder, right hand goes on the left elbow, put it in and then across to the right to feel a stretch down your left shoulder. If you want more videos just like this one, you want to do more exercise sessions, you can find a huge growing library on our website, fitforgood.com. We have general fitness sessions just like this one. We have seated fitness sessions. We have flexibility sessions if you feel like you need a good old stretch. And we also have some quick movements for you to do and some technique videos as well. We have a huge growing library, hundreds of videos. And release that stretch. Holding on to something, I'm going to use my chair. Make sure whatever you're using is stable. Hold on to it with your right hand and pull your left heel up to the bum. If you can't grab the foot, just raise the leg or use your clothes to put it into place. And breathe. Long, deep breaths. A nice stretch from the hip to the knee, the quad included. Three, two, one. And swap sides. Hold on to whatever you're holding to with your left hand and then pull your right heel up to the bum, standing nice and tall, getting the stretch from your hip to the knee, the quad on the right side. Fantastic. Remember to let your friends know about all these exercise sessions. If you know anyone these could benefit, then please just send them our website, fitforgood.com. Let us know, and sorry, let them know how you're getting on and how much you're enjoying them, and they might like to enjoy them too. A little bit of exercise every day is hugely beneficial for quality of life, physical and mental health. Lovely, release that stretch. Our final stretch today, you're gonna place either hand on either elbow like so, you're going to grab hold of those elbows. You're going to have your arms are about shoulder width uh, or chest height. From here, you're going to pull your elbows away from you using your hands. Then you're going to tuck your chin, look at the floor. You're going to round through the upper spine to get a nice stretch through the middle part of your upper back. Take long, deep breaths. and release that stretch. We are done today. That was a tough session. That is also a fantastic session to come back to again and again and again, maybe every month or so, to see how much you've improved. You might find when you do it again, after doing our sessions consistently, three times a week or so, you might find that when you do it again, your first round has got faster and your last round has also got faster as well. And you might not even feel it as much. So it's always a good way to test yourself to see if your fitness is improved. As always, leave any feedback and questions in the comment box at the bottom of this page. I'll be happy to help. You did a fantastic job. For now, you've earned that cup of tea and a biscuit. Have a nice sit down and I'll see you in the next Fit for Good online session. Great work, everybody.